Well, hello, my muffins, and welcome to another tutorial. Today is another pride tutorial. We're going to be making a non-binary pride flag cuff. It's going to be a even peyote stitch with four rows. For this project, I'm guessing we're going to need about six feet of string, and I'll be using one millimeter elastic cord, which I got from beadton.com. Use the code MOODCANDY to get 10% off. And then, of course, I'm going to be using about 22 of each of the four colors of the non-binary pride flag, um, which is going to be, we've got some white, we've got yellow, purple, and black, and that's a total of 88 beads. Now, you might need a different number of beads if you're making a differently sized bracelet. Um, the one I'm making is going to be six inches around. And of course, last but not least, I have my limited edition fancy scissors. Yay! Don't forget your scissors, guys. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to start off with, I'm going to grab a six foot piece of string. My measurements are not exact because I use my arms to measure instead of a ruler. Once you have your piece of string, you'll want to fold it in half and hold the two ends together in one hand. Now we're gonna start off this cuff by adding one yellow bead onto each end of the string. Then put the two ends together and place on one white bead. Ah, I dropped it. Then place one purple bead onto each end of the string. Then put the two ends together and put on one black bead. Now you can pull all of those beads down to the center of the folded in half piece of string and kind of just tug on them to tighten. And it should look like this. And I don't know why I'm wearing my headphones. Now I'm just going to grab one end of my string and add a black bead onto it. And then place that string through one of the purple beads that's popped out. Next, I'm going to add a white bead. And then place this string through one of these yellow beads that's popped out. And now it should look like this. And I'm only going to be using the same string until it runs out, and then I'll switch to the other end of string. So now I'm going to add a yellow bead on, and then put the string through the next white. Then add a purple bead, and put the string through the next black. And make sure that you're tightening it frequently, especially when your peyote stitch bracelet is this thin. It does tend to come loose easier. Now add another black bead and place the string through the next purple. Then I'll add a white bead and place the string through the next yellow. Now add a yellow, place the string through the next white. Add a purple and put the string through the next black. Now I'll add a black and put the string through the next purple. Then add a white and put the string through the next yellow. Then add a yellow, put the string through the next white. Add a purple bead, put the string through the next black.
Then I'll add a black bead and put the string through the next purple. Then add a white bead, put the string through the next yellow. Now I'm just going to keep going with this stitch until I run out of string on this end or the bracelet is long enough. We'll see which comes first. Enjoy this informational voiceover during the time lapse. So what does non-binary mean? Non-binary is a gender identity where a person does not identify as strictly a boy or strictly a girl. It can be used as an umbrella term for any gender besides strictly boy or girl, or as its own gender. People who are non-binary may also identify as transgender if they feel like that label fits them personally. Okay, so now my string on this end is pretty short, so I'm gonna stop using this string and just, um, just flip the bracelet over. And now I can use the other string and just go the other way. I'll start by adding on a black bead and putting my string through the next purple. Then adding on a white bead, putting the string through the next yellow. Then I'll add on a yellow bead, put the string through the next white. Add a purple bead and put the string through the next black. And just keep going with this until the bracelet's long enough to tie off and then I'll show you how to tie it off. This non-binary pride flag was designed by Kai Rowan in 2014. What do the colors of this flag represent? Yellow represents genders that are outside of the binary of boy or girl. White represents a mixture of many or all genders. Purple represents a mixture of femininity and masculinity. And black represents a lack of gender. All right, now the non-binary pride flag bracelet here is the perfect size for the person I'm making it for, and we can tie it off. So I'm going to take this string right here and I'm going to place it through this yellow edge bead on the opposite side. And then I'm going to place it through the white bead on this side. And I want my knot to kind of be like in the middle of the bracelet, so I'm also going to grab this other string that I wasn't using before and place it over here on the black edge bead of the opposite side. And then place it through the purple edge bead on this side. And now it should look like that. So pull each end of the string tight and the bracelet will come together. Then I'm going to tie a triple knot. Oh, this came out so cute. Remember to tug on the ends. Make sure that knot is nice and tight and cut off the ends with scissors, not your teeth. And now to hide the knot, I'm gonna turn the bracelet inside out. And it's so adorable, I love it. I also have on my Gilbert Baker pride flag cuff, which I also have a tutorial on if you wanted to make that one as well. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching my tutorial. I hope you have a lot of fun making a non-binary pride flag for yourself or someone you love. Let me know what other kind of videos you would like to see on my channel. And until next time, peace, love, unity, 
and respect.